are you and your mom going to be getting out of here anytime soon? Why are you both still in this fancy house of mine? I'd like you both out of this house now. You both are disgraces. The thing is, Carmen, I don't think you have any reason to be telling my mom or anyone anything like that. I really don't get how you think you can say that to me when you're both the ones in some stranger's house. This is my house, and yet I'm not able to catch a break with the both of you around. I'm sorry about that, but this place also happens to be my mom's and my house now. Your dad and my mom ended up getting married to one another. So when you think about the fact that we're all family now, you're making a big mistake complaining about us like that. I'm not complaining about you both, though. I am warning you guys. I'm warning you both that it's time to get out of my house now, so how about you start preparing to leave? What do you think you're saying still? If you keep complaining to me like that, I'm not going to bother listening to you. I'm telling you right now, Carmen, you can hate my mom and I all you want, but it's not going to change anything for you now. We are your family now as far as everyone else is concerned. So this way you're behaving, don't you think it's going to draw a lot of people's attention towards you? Let's just forget about all you've said and work together to grow closer to one another as sisters. Huh? Give it up already. You're grossing me out now. I will never ever, ever think of you as my little sister, Jasmine. I can't even see you as anything else but a crazy stranger who's trying to squat in my house. <laughs> You also happen to be years younger than me, yet talk to me like you somehow know better? Disgusting. I'm sorry that my way of thinking about this is disgusting to you, but I'm not trying to turn you off. I can just see that you being very against my mom and I living here is only going to make things harder on yourself. So I'd really like it if we all worked together to be happier as a family. And in order for that to start happening, you need to start behaving like an adult, okay? Jasmine, how have things been going between you and Carmen? Do you feel that the both of you can get along well? Not at all, Mom. Not only is it hard for me to understand what she's going on about, but she doesn't seem to like the thought of me at all. By now, I don't think her and I can become close to one another at all. But don't worry, I'll figure something out. You know I'm worried after hearing that, though. If I weren't around anymore, then what would happen to you guys? There are all kinds of things I'm worried about right now, and one thing is being worried about you two. What? Why are you worried about things like that, though? <laughs> There's no way someone like you won't be around. It'll be a very long time before you're no longer around, so I'd stop your worrying and just focus on your new husband and family. Jasmine, remember that there's no telling what'll happen in the near future. If we keep living life not being prepared for the worst, then it's going to swallow us right up and leave nothing behind. Well, I'm sure one could see things that way. But right now, you shouldn't be all that worried about things. I'll be alright with what's going on right now. I'm sure you will be too. Well, if that's what you think, then okay. How about we focus on talking about the company now? Did you get to talk with Luke? Yes, I was able to. Luke may be super young, but he is a very good listener and makes sure to account for everything when making his next moves. We were both able to get on with our talks about what'll happen next. And in the end, we were both able to come to an understanding. You will be totally fine going to school and staying there for a while. Alright. I'll make sure to learn everything I can in college. And I'll do everything I can to become very useful to the company once I've graduated. But also make sure you have a little bit of fun while you're there. I know you're a very serious young woman, but learn to relax a little as well. All right already. Sorry that me being serious is always worrying you. Thanks for the update, Mom. <coughs> it sounds like your mom got into a bad accident, huh? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> I guess that was the fate she had destined for her, huh? My mom has stopped breathing now. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> huh? Why the hell are you laughing right now? How the hell can you laugh about what's happened to my mom? My mom just freaking died. Do you have any idea what you're joking about right now? I never actually thought something like that would happen. <laughs> I was a bit shocked just then to hear you say that. Well then, this means really soon here you will have to leave the house, right? 
Things are happening just the way I wanted them to. Perhaps one could say that I'm good at telling the future. What the hell are you going on about? I do not have it in myself right now to sit here and watch you send out such gut-wrenching crap as that anymore. Aren't you 24 years old or something? How have you made it this far in life, yet still not learned how to talk and act around someone that just lost their own mother? Do you find joy in making other people's anguish even worse for them, to the point that they can feel their heart falling apart inside their chest? Not really. I'm not really thinking too much about your mom anyway. <laughs> you both are just strangers to me anyway, so why should I care how you feel now? Even if I am, you should still be aware not to say things like that to a stranger while they're going through some of the most heartbreaking moments in their life. I can't wait to finally have this stranger out of my house and then I can go back to living with just my older brother Luke and my dad again. <laughs> you really are the worst. I am done talking to trash like you. From now on, consider your chances of talking with me very slim. Now leave me alone and go find someone else to mess with. Will do. <laughs> and you hurry up and get all your things ready to be out of my house. I want you to vanish right before my eyes. Shut the hell up. <laughs> I told you things need to happen, as I say. Now hurry up and leave. I am shocked. No, not even shocked. I am dumbstruck by what you've done. How dare you come into my mom's funeral today and yell at me about being a complete stranger to you and that I need to leave now. There has to be a limit to your absurdity, right? Do you have any clue what you've just done to dad by screaming like that? Huh? Please don't be calling my dad your dad after everything that's just happened. You have no idea who my dad is, so why don't you just get lost already? He's like a foster parent to me, making him my dad. I understand that you don't like me being in your dad's large house right now, but what you just screamed about at the top of your lungs at my mom's funeral, that was unacceptable. You've just gone and made dad beyond embarrassed by what you did. Although I'm sure you can't tell that because you're so self-centered. Anything is worth doing what I did as long as you are out of my house. <laughs> Ever since you came into my house, my older brother has been all over you, even though all you are is that bratty child your mom brought with her. Why does everyone want to care about you so much? Because they can see just how much of a jerk you are towards me. They're all worried about what'll come next from you, and that's why they care. Shut up. I don't care anymore. Now, get the hell out of my life already. Having to waste any more of my time around you is really starting to get on my nerves now. <laughs> I feel the exact same way, Carmen. You have no right to be living in my dad's mansion anymore. My house. Really? You still continue to think that? How confident of you. Of course. I'm the daughter of this household and I know everything about it. That also means that this house is mine for the taking. And since your old hag of a mother is six feet under now, it's time for you to get the hell out. A non-related stranger like you has no right to be in this house any longer. Get out. Then I guess we're all going to have to leave. What? I've been thinking for a long time now that it's been close to that time when you need to start supporting yourself for once. So it's time for both you and Luke to get out of here and live on your own. And I'll have to leave myself, so that'll be all three of us moving out. Have you gotten all your things ready to leave yet, Carmen? What are you talking about? Stop trying to talk like my dad now. And since when did Luke have anything to do with this? I just so happen to be your father, Christopher. What? Dad? Why are you texting me from Jasmine's phone? You call me your dad, when really, I'm just your foster parent. Dad? Foster parent? What are you going on about? What's going on here? The only reason I've never brought this up with you is because you act like such a child for an adult. But this time, you really took things too far with all you've said to my little Jasmine. That's why I'm going to choose this timing, to tell you the whole truth about who you really are. The truth is, neither you nor Luke are related to me by blood. And actually, I'm not sure who your real parents are. What? What does that mean? It means exactly what I said. I know that I told you in the past that your mother had died before you could truly know her. But in reality, I never knew your real mother either. 
I just went to the foster home, where I found you and Luke. I have no idea what you're talking about, Dad. Are you sure that's the truth? That's right. So if we're going to act on what you've been saying to Jasmine, that would mean that all of you have to get out of this house, because none of you are related to me. Wait, stop saying all that crazy crap! If you have all of us leave this house, then what am I going to do? What's going to happen to me then? I don't know. You're going to have to learn to fend for yourself. You were saying that those who are not blood relatives to the family have to leave this house. So that includes you. And I no longer need to think about you as my daughter. Wait, Dad! I never said any of those with that kind of intent! You understand what I'm saying, right? Uh, I think you just got the wrong idea for a second there. Dad seems to be on the move now with his plan. Now have you learned the repercussions of what all you were saying earlier? I'm sure you could never learn such things since you're such a freaking idiot. But I just thought I'd ask since you're wanting to act like a little jerk. Now could you stop screwing around? I meant everything I was saying to you, and I want you to stop screwing around with me now. What the hell were you doing forcing my dad to say such things about my brother and I to me? I never thought that I'd have to hear words like that coming out of my own dad's mouth at a time like this. Was he being serious about all of that? Am I really a filthy foster child or something? And does that mean that Luke and I aren't even related to one another? That's what it seems like, Carmen. Therefore, you and I are one in the same now, right? Our dad's been in serious pain after just losing his wife like that in a serious car accident. And you just came out of nowhere today screaming the most heartless things to me at the top of your lungs. I don't think he's ever going to forgive you for doing that. What? But, but up until now, I've been my dad's number one daughter and he's done so much for me. How the hell could something like that happen so suddenly? It feels like I'm being stabbed in the back by him now. It's all because of you that my family is falling apart now. The one who started to cause this family to fall apart was you, Carmen. This is what happens when you don't work together with the rest of your family to try and make things enjoyable. Since you've decided to be so selfish, you've gone and ruined things for everyone now. As Dad is saying, he's selling the house. What? Why would he do that? He had a lot of memories in that house with my mom, and now that she's gone, he no longer wants to live in there with someone like you. There's no point in being around someone as horrible as you. No, no, no! There are plenty of points as to why he should still want to live here with me. I need to live here with him. If he sells the house and has me forced out of it, I'll become homeless and have no idea what to do. And like you, I don't even have a job or anything right now. And like you, don't you dare start comparing yourself to me. I'm going to college now, and I plan to be there until I can graduate and take over my mom's company. And I'll have you know that since I first started high school, I've been working at my mom's company as an intern to learn about the real world and make some extra money. Huh? Are you serious? You've known that my mom has been the CEO of her company, right? I've heard little bits about all of that. Well, like I said, that company is going to become mine. So right now, I've been putting in a lot of effort studying for such a high position. I wanted to work for her for a bit at the top, but now that she's gone, I'll have to do everything myself now. But luckily, before I get to that point, Luke is going to be stepping in to support the company and me. Which means while I'm still in school, I'll also be taking time to work with him to make sure I can learn literally everything in order to keep the company going when I take over. Huh? Why would my brother be getting involved in any of that? Are you... Are you after Luke now or something? That's why you never got out of this house. Why would I ever be after him? Come on now. To me, Luke is like a hero of mine. He's a very well put together man and is completely different from everyone else his age. So different, in fact, that he's like an alien to you. What the hell? Are you trying to pick on me now? Well, as a matter of fact, that is me picking on you. But I shouldn't waste my time doing that now. I have to really focus on what all I need to work on and study next while Luke is going in and making sure the company stays upright. He's going to be leaving his job soon as well and becoming an employee for my mom's company in order to be there full time and put all his energy into it. My mom and him had plans for if something like this were ever to happen and luckily they had agreed on everything that needed to be done. So that company is going to be just fine for now. 
I never had any idea that stuff like that had been going on. I didn't even know that Luke, of all people, was that invested into your guys' relationship and everything. That's because all you've done with your life is sit around the house all day, wasting all of Dad's hard-earned money on games and online shopping. All you've ever done is what you've wanted to do, and not a single thing else. That's why you never knew anything was going on with us. That's why you couldn't even tell that you're not your dad's real child. So what? We've had the money to do whatever we wanted to with it, so what's wrong with me wanting to use it all up to do what I want? What I'm saying is you never did anything for the family. You never even did anything to benefit yourself, and that's what's about to bite you in the butt now. You're about to be kicked out of the house, and how exactly are you going to be able to live on your own? I'm really worried about that, but you're in the same boat as me now, right? I've been planning to leave the house for a while now since I'm going to college out of town, so I've already signed the lease on a small apartment for myself. So I'll be moving there soon and begin my studies. I'll also be getting some money from my mom, and Dad will be willing to stay in touch in case I ever need anything. Why is my dad going to help you out, even though he's choosing to throw me away? Something like that can't be happening, right? I've been his daughter for a lot longer than you have. This is not a problem relating to how long either of us has been his daughter. Nobody knew that my mom was going to be passing away that quickly in an accident of that caliber. But my mom had plans for things like this because she was always worried about what would happen after she was gone. She made sure to think about myself, about Luke, about Dad, and that's why we've all been thinking about her as well. But because you never did anything with yourself besides complain all the time about my mom and I, and would just spend all your dad's money, nobody's put any thought into what'll happen with you next. You poor, poor thing. Who are you calling a poor thing? Are you really calling me that right now? You're an idiot. Talking down to me like that of all people? This is how things have turned out for someone as hopeless as you. And I think this is the perfect ending for you. What am I supposed to do from now on? If I'm really abandoned by everyone, I'll be screwed. Say something to my dad. Tell him that it's not right for him to abandon someone like me. It's because of you that all of this is happening to me after all. So you have to do that for me in return, right? Screw you, are you really six years older than me? Or did the foster home you're from just tell dad the wrong age? <laughs> I can't believe this. You have to be in elementary school still if you think you can blame some stranger for your problems and then ask them to save you after throwing a fit. I I'm done talking to you. If you want his help so bad, then how about you go and tell him he's wrong for leaving you? Because I'm finished with all your BS. I have had it up to here taking care of such a baby like you. You don't have to say that. The three of us are leaving the house and we'll continue to talk to one another like family because we are family. But not one of us has room in our hearts for a spoiled baby like you anymore. And out of the three of us, I'm the most likely to kill you if I ever come across you again after what you said about my mom's death. Back then, things were a little bit different. You don't have to get all upset with me about what I was saying then. You and I are still sisters, right? Let's be friends again. Now? Are you serious? I had asked you many times before my mom passed to be friends, to the point I can't even count them anymore. I just wanted to be kind to one another, even if it wasn't how we truly felt on the inside. But every single time I asked, the only thing that came out of your mouth were insults, and then you telling my mom and I to leave. All of that, when none of us besides my mom and I had been related to one another by blood. Back then, I had no idea about the truth regarding my family, so how was I supposed to care about what I was saying? I'm saying sorry now, aren't I? Let's be kind to one another now, all right? I don't want you in my life anymore. I'm going to block your number now. What? I guess things really are going to happen just the way you'd been hoping. We're all going to be leaving that house. But it's not just me this time, but all of you as well, right? <laughs> I guess you're not that good at telling the future after all. <laughs> Goodbye forever now. Good luck living on the streets, you frickin' bitch. <laughs> and how about while you're out there, you learn what it's like to be an adult. <coughs> and just like that, I had no more patience inside me for Carmen, and I blocked her number as well as all her social media accounts. 
Then my dad went and sold the house to one of his friends, and that forced Luke and Carmen to have to leave the house as well. Carmen ran crying to her dad, telling him not to throw her away, but the last thing he had to say is that a monster like her was not his daughter, which drove the point that he wasn't joking around deep into her rotten heart. After we had all moved out, we continued to still talk to one another and help each other out like family, only this time without the annoying whining of that bratty girl Carmen. I was able to safely move into my new apartment with one of my friends, actually, where we'll be sharing this place while studying for four years at college. Luke was able to find himself a house closer to the company my mom was in charge of before her passing, and has now started his new job there as the COO while the company makes plans for me to become the next CEO. Thankfully, Luke has told me that he won't be making any major changes to the company while he's in charge, and that he will always talk with me first to get my opinion on things if he does have to do something. And as for my dad, he was able to find a new place in town, much smaller than the house he sold off, but just right for a single man like himself to enjoy. His heart really was destroyed by not only losing his wife, but also having to hear all those words out of someone he assumed was his daughter's mouth. As a way of thanking him for everything he'd done and to keep him from becoming lonely, Luke and I went out and got him a puppy that he can now take care of. And then we have Carmen. I haven't heard much else about her after we left that house, but what Lucas told me is that he got one call from her and she was calling him from a payphone since her phone had broken and she had no money for a new one. There she was, crying and begging for him to help her out with some money because she was tired of having to sleep under a bridge every night, but Luke said not a single word and chose to hang up on her. She was the one that decided to never grow up any while living in such a fortunate household, so this was the only path she had laid out ahead of her, and she'll have to walk it forever now.